talk about your songs, talk about your John 316s. Austin 316 says, I just whipped your ass. What's your name? It doesn't matter what your name is. Would you please shut the hell up? If you want me to open up a can of whoop ass, give me a hell yeah. Turn that some bitch sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. Hey, what's up? This is Craig. And let's check out Greatest Insults WWE Top 10. Let's check it out. Well, The Rock says if you are the game, then quite frankly, you need to go back to the drawing board because your game absolutely sucks. Fake name is Edge. Where do I get one of those? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second, Hugh Morris. You know what? I think I have a better handle for you. Like, you suck. <laughs> or you totally reek. Better yet, you should try some deodorant once in a while. If you were gonna give the United States of America an enema, you'd stick the holes right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Bret Hart with a saying. So you go ahead, you keep on kissing babies and hugging fat girls. <laughs> I remember that. I'm going to be in a gym somewhere training <laughs> and thinking about beating the hell out of you at WrestleMania. Batista got really good on the mic. Respect and loyalty to trend worldwide. He wasn't supposed to say that. I don't need my notes for my promo on my wrist. He wasn't supposed to say that. Let me make myself clear. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. It's about time somebody breaks it to the Bellas. Talent is not sexually transmitted. Or maybe The Rock is gonna face oh, Rikishi. Yeah. Beat Rikishi. I did it for The Rock. <laughs> I did it for the people. I did it. I did, oh, shut your mouth, you thong wearing fatty. I'm gonna take care of that smelly. Greasy, nasty animal. And I'm gonna get you too, Rhino. <laughs> Chris Jericho and Stephanie McMahon had. Thanks for watching WWE on YouTube. To be the first to see the new videos from WWE on YouTube, click right here. And to continue watching shows like the one that you just saw, click right. Here. Finally, and most importantly, my favorite, to relive all your favorite page moments, click on these babies right here. Chris Jericho and Stephanie McMahon had great chemistry, man. They always did. And The Rock and Chris Jericho when they was together. Rock and Mankind, Stone Cold, The Rock, always had great chemistry. When The Rock and John Cena were in the ring together, you can feel the tension. Them two, I genuinely believe they don't like each other. Maybe they do, but if they do, they play that mess off perfectly. I mean, you can just feel the tension whenever they were in the ring together, man. And a lot of those things they said to each other were not scripted. They were not supposed to say that stuff, man. When it comes to performers in the ring together, going head to head on the mic, my favorites to watch were John Cena and The Rock. Uh, Whenever CM Punk was in the ring with anybody, because it always felt authentic from him, always. Um, Austin in The Rock, uh, who else? Chris Jericho and Stephanie McMahon, Chris Jericho in The Rock. The Hurricane in The Rock, too. That was a good time. Uh, Rock and Mankind, 
No, I'm probably missing some things, but yeah, man. Whenever you get two uh, superstars in the ring that had comedic appeal, I guess, together, they meshed very well together comedic-wise, uh, it was, it's always a good time. Always a good time. Even though uh, The Rock and Triple H, I think they, they always, they never really clicked uh, personally, you know, but they got a segment, they got a recent, their recent segment they did when The Rock and Triple H met, met backstage, you know, you know, I get it got like over a million views on YouTube. I love that segment when uh, they were staring at each other and it was like, I'm not backing away. You know, I, I stood. You know, they're they're like face to face and they're like, I'm not backing away first. I love that segment. That thing was that thing is awesome, man. But insults, especially back in the day, the Attitude Era insults was coming like crazy. The Rock and Triple H, they were the best at it then. Nowadays, I mean, CM Punk's gone, so I feel like CM Punk was was the guy. I love. I'm out. I mean, CM Punk, they probably never put him on the list because of how he left, but his insult to Kevin Nash with his, uh, either his sister, who said his sister texted him, and he read it out, and I think that was real text. That should have been on the list, in my opinion. I love that insult. Uh, what else? I knew that John Cena insult was going to be up there. Um, the Rock segment, when he was talking about Rikishi, I knew that was going to be up there. Anything Chris Jericho said to Stephanie should have been up there. They're, they were always gold. Yeah, I can't think of another. Um, yeah, so comment below. Give me your opinion. It doesn't matter what your opinion is. I'm just joking. It does. Comment below. Let me know if you guys can think of another that happened. I can't think of none off the top of my head right now except for that one. Oh, whenever the rock. Yeah, Hurricane. I mentioned Hurricane and Soap in the Rock. That was always fun. Yeah. Comment below. Let me know what you think about the list. Agree with it. Disagree with it. Any of uh, anyone you think of that aren't up there, you think should be up there, or you know if the list in your opinion sucks. In my opinion, I think is a go. This is Craig. That Craig. Comment, share, subscribe. Always stay on your grind. Talk about your songs. Talk about your John three sixteens. I hosted three sixteens. <laughs>